Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading. So we're going to do a reading where I want to start off with using these earth magic to just feel out your energy to see sort of what's going to happen for the next month or two. Uh, and uh, we'll see what the cards say. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, end up by talking about, well, what kind of love could be coming into your life. Sometimes, you know, well, the cards just do it on their own. I don't have to actually plan it. <laughs> so, Taurus, this one is for you. This one is for you. Green man and synergy unfoldment. We have also dream time com the creation. And then we have love and compassion. Whoa, there you see, the love always comes in. I don't have to ask for it. <laughs> so we also have rain and purification. And we have crystals and focus and waterfall and fire and passion. Woo, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I feel like what's what's happening here is uh okay are you being saved by someone i, I did you hear the <laughs> ambulance coming <laughs> uh, um, we have wake up call in the bottom and in the top we have desert and we with a uh, vision quest and what i'm hearing here is that you know um you have been patiently waiting uh something really made you uh, step into your new cycle I'm getting, uh, understanding what your worth is um, and what you want and what you don't want. Okay, so, um, and it made you really, uh, well, well, purify yourself. You, it, it, you, it just, something just rinsed you. Um, and um, you sort of became aligned with your higher self, I'm getting, with this green man and the synergy. It's like, you, you, I'm, you just, I'm, I'm me when I'm nature. The, the, the soul I came in as, the higher self that I am, is sort of um, now coming in and unfolding within me. And now I have a clear focus with these crystals on who I am and what I deserve and what my needs are and what I want. And I can say yes, I can say no without uh, being scared and fearful. Um, and I feel like you sort of are, um, while you're alone, um, practicing this, uh, saying yes and saying no to this or that whatever it is, an event or a person or a, uh, but, uh, or a, a family member or whatever, but it is also, uh, feels effortless for you. Like, you know what? I don't have to deal with their emotions anymore. I, am, I want to deal with my emotions and what I want is okay no matter what I want. And, um, and that's when you uh, let go of trying to control other people and steer their feelings, steer relationships or whatever. It's just, you're sort of letting everything flow I'm getting here. And that could be the reason why love can come in. It could be love coming in toward yourself in your own heart or someone coming into your life. Um, but you feel like you're so passionate uh, well, uh, in your life and about yourself and about your dreams now, and what you want now. I really am getting this could be a person that, that's coming in with these two last cards. It's love and passion. It's like uh, so uh, relationship um, aligned or what you call it, aligned with relationships. But um, it could also be I'm so passionate about what I do in my life. Um, I'm, I'm just, when I'm over here, I feel like I'm in love. It could also be that you're in love with yourself now. Because you have chosen to pull down your higher self and let it be a part of you here in the third dimension. Okay? So, 
very interesting. Um, I sort of just pushed the camera, I think. No, I think it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So now I really am going to shuffle these cards really good. Um, these are the light series to roll. I'm just trying to shuffle them. They're, they're getting a little, you know, um, old and uh, also a little sticky. <laughs> so, um, and my hands, I can't shuffle tarot cards the way I can shuffle normal playing cards for some reason. All right, we have the High Priestess and the Chariot. All right. And the wheel and the magician. What is going on here, Taurus? Four major arcanas <laughs> here on your table. Definitely, you're manifesting whatever is coming in here. Something is coming in. You're, you have manifested with the high priestess. You, I feel like you also did predicted uh, that it was coming because you come in with this high priestess energy. You predicted that something is actually happening. So it was not only a manifestation, it was also like a foreseeing or what you call it, a prediction. Uh, and uh, because something new, a new beginning with the magician is coming in. And uh, you've just been waiting to see who or what is coming in. Perhaps you've had a choice between two lovers or more, I'm hearing. Uh, and you're, you've been like, am I going this way? Am I going that way? You know, I'm, I'm going to, am I, am I choosing the black horse or the white horse? <laughs> what am I? But definitely I'm choosing a new life because I want a new life. Um, I have... Um, I'm ready, I'm hearing. And you are ready to manifest this new life. So, um, give me some more cards on what's coming in love. Let's see. Okay. We have two of cups and nine of pentacles. So, um, there is some kind of love coming in some kind of team work, uh, team with someone. Um, so, um, I feel like this energy with the Nine of Pentacles is telling us that you know who you are, that so that you can actually stay who you are in a relationship with someone. It's a very mature energy that you're coming in with here, okay? Um, so, or you're going to be single when you meet this person. Um, so, who is coming in? Who is coming in? We have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> and the Three of Pentacles. So, um, I'm just going to put them on this way. Okay. So, uh, Six of Cups, it's, it could be someone you've known before. Definitely could be someone, um, someone who ran away with this Knight of Swords, but now when they're coming in, you're going to be happy they did <laughs> with the, the Knight of Wands, or they're going to be banging the drum and well, okay, okay, so um, <clears throat> I see a lot of cards, I can just pick them off the shelf, or, or the, not the shelf, why, why do I say this? Um, and we have the, the Knight of uh, Cups. I'll show you what I'm seeing. Just a minute. Uh, I, I definitely will. <laughs> so, um, either Taurus, you have more than one offer, but whatever offer you choose, it's going to make you feel very happy with this King of Cups. Knight, Ten of, of Cups. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Because you're going to be like, um, I don't know, you know, I'm not sure <laughs> what to choose. Uh, definitely, th this is someone coming in with love. 
and um, well um, I'm getting you know it feels really good that they're coming in with love but have they changed have they really changed with the judgment and the devil um, did they actually change um, is uh, I'm getting the when pigs fly energy with this page of cups. Um, but there is definitely some competition between, I, th I feel like, uh, divine masculines or something like that. Uh, so you're figuring out which way to go and with who. Um, um, but... When who comes in, they will come in very fast. And it's, it's going to be from one day to the next, like, um, and, uh, and then you, you're sort of like going into like, a, well, let's see how this goes with the seven of pentacles. We have eight of wands, five, five of wands. That's the competition energy. I'm sorry, I forget to tell you. It's, uh, you're happy that this comes in, but you still are like, okay, wait a minute. I'll just have to think about it because I also need to protect my heart. Perhaps you become like a magnet for um, suitors because of the strength that you have found within yourself. Because you have unfolded yourself. I see you're standing like a full-bloomed lotus flower and everybody sees this. Everybody wants it. You know, and someone's like, I want to marry you. I've changed. Uh, um, and you're going to be like, I, well, I, you, you, you acted like a little bit of a devil toward me. Or mm, I still am looking for the red flags here uh, to see if you actually have changed. Or if you actually are coming in um, and could you know hurt me along the way um i someone's coming in and i feel like they are offering you um commitment here with the four of wands and a new life with the world um and uh, uh and then we have the queen of pentacles and we have the empress and the ace of cups so you guys this is someone coming in with a true and beautiful love offer and uh, I feel like perhaps you've been doubting which one to choose or they have had or one of them have had or perhaps all of them have had if there are more than one coming in <laughs> uh, people uh, doubting this relationship for a long time and that's why they were well, holding themselves back. I just really do see that this is for most of you a reunion coming in. That felt really painful, um, but now they recognize what you are and how much, um, well, they want you because you are the queen of pentacles this beautiful energy here the empress you are the divine feminine right so someone's really bringing in a cup of love here wanting to have this new life with you so what energy is actually coming in here what energy is are you going to choose if you can choose between more who are you going to choose spirit can we just get a card on that the king of pentacles and the lovers okay and they're ready and you're their wish come true okay so um and you're gonna be like um are you sure <laughs> just a minute i'll just take this king of pentacles queen of pentacles we have a royal pair here so this person is actually the one that well fits you best the lovers is a gemini energy um there's also a taurus energy here um yeah with the devil we had a capricorn energy um you are a taurus of course so um but i feel like 
this is someone very grounded, stable, someone who has a house, a home, and um, a life, um, someone that wants to protect you and take care of you and uh, have a loving life with you. Um, with this King of Pentacles. Um, and you have a waiting you have been waiting for them to come back in and now they're like you're my wish come true now i know and understand this you're gonna be a little doubtful here seven of cups saying to yourself is this the one i want to go with uh should i go with the knight of pentacles for some of you or you you are acting like the knight of pentacles waiting a little while like little hesitant uh wait and see how this evolves um can you really bring me this cup of love but we have the six of pentacles and this is a pure balance between giving and receiving someone is actually coming in and handing you the last card we have the sun and all your birds the birds will fly away i'm hearing <laughs> all your worries will fly away so don't worry um they're, they're giving you the sun. They're not giving you anything bad because we're, this is the 10. This is, you know, a releasement of whatever worries you might have had in your mind. When I open the deck, again, a releasement card, six of sword. sword. So they're bringing you out of the, the rough waters and, uh, and they're bringing in the sun. They are. And the cup of love and... Uh, offer of a new life an offer of a new life with this uh, ace of pentacles all right so um wow taurus um <clears throat> i hope it resonates with you who this person is i want to very fast do the um divine masculine um archetypes and behaviors for you because of the a feeling that there could be more than one person so who is it more decisively who is this um, person that's coming in this king of pentacles who is this because the lovers can also come in as well a choice right so we have an old soul and the manifester Yes, that doesn't tell us a lot, <laughs> but yes, this could be a wise old soul that's very responsible and courageous and um, uh, confident, experienced actually, um, a little older than you perhaps, or in their soul or intelligence wise, a little more wise, I don't know, <laughs> clever or something. The manifester is um, original, willpower, genius, communicator, law of attraction, God-given skills. Who is actually coming in? Who is actually coming in? So we have the ghost, someone who has ghosting you. Um, and, uh, <laughs> well, um, They've been hiding and not being present and unavailable, staying away, right, and gone and searching for whatever it was. The peacemaker. This is some kind of person that's thinking of all the guidelines and what's best for all. Um, and, uh, and then we also have a single father, okay? Uh, independent and protector and loving and careful. Uh, caretaker careful and struggling a little bit struggling here uh, and then we have hillbilly <laughs> we have th this energy is like someone who's pretty simple-minded and uh, doesn't have a real high education but is really good at doing this phys physical hard work so um so i i see that this uh well person is coming in we have also the writer um, someone who's unstoppable taking action once they want something then they are actually gonna come for it okay um, so um, I hope this resonates with you this who this person could be um, yeah um, yeah Yeah, I don't think we should have any more. 
I feel like we have baby daddy, so this could, uh, they could have uh, ba babies with other women <laughs> and uh, have, have to protect these women or take care of or provide for these other women. Um, and that's why perhaps they have other women in their life, the mothers of their children. Um, and then we have uh, the gentlemen. So they are, I don't think we should do this baby daddy as a, a child himself or anything like that. Um, uh, but this, because this person, I feel like is a grown up. Um, if they can come into your life with your maturity, then they are also very mature. So they also come in as a very respectful gentleman. I feel like traditional and strong, a provider and enduring love. And um, when they they have like a, a instinct of being a great graceful leader. Um, and uh, when I open this, we have the adventurer, free will, independent traveler, self-aligned, self-discoverer, applying knowledge and forever after. So what I see in this card is um, that they are, um, they like, you know, to go on trips um, and they want to take you on trips and discover the world and whatever, you know, um, um, and go on spontaneous trips, not knowing exactly where we're going, but just going on road trips, I'm hearing. Let's end with this forever after for your Taurus, okay? Um, because here we have, um, we definitely have um, a, a long-lasting love and teamwork and support and keeping the romance alive and acknowledging each other and deep grounded love and a life partner. Okay, so wow, a lot is happening for all the signs uh, in these readings <laughs> for love. Yeah. I just really feel like everybody has been has has been growing up, and now we're meeting in a more mature way. Um, we all know who we are and what we want, and uh, and that's how we love ourselves now, and that's how we both best can love another person because now we we know and understand um, our worth and our needs, and uh, we're not afraid of going to our heart. Um, definitely we're not, uh, um, we're getting to it <laughs> um, and asking ourselves, how do I actually feel about whatever, this person, my, myself, my purpose, who am I, what do I want and uh, do I love you? And that's what's coming in. This person is ready to ask themselves that. All right, so, well, Taurus, this was your reading. It's re been really good. Um, well, let me know how it goes. Um, I, as always, I wish you all the best, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.